good morning everybody. It's Saturday the 18th of April and I uh, hope you had a good Friday night. Maybe you had a Friday night braai. But it's Saturday morning and let's see what we've got for you on the board. So today is intended to be a fast sprint. It should be like sub 10 minutes. It's going to get the heart rate up, the shoulders are going to burn, the legs are going to work. Um, the focus is, is on keeping your technique as strict as possible the whole way through each of the movements. All right, so what we've got is you've got 15 push-ups. From 15 push-ups, we go straight into 12 pistols. If you've got pistols, you're gonna do pistols. If you haven't got pistols, we're gonna do air squats, but we're gonna double the air squats. So 15 push-ups, 12 pistols. 15 push-ups, 12 pistols, so you're doing it twice. And then you're doing nine wall climbs. So you're gonna start with the chest on the floor, you're gonna walk your feet up the wall, come into a handstand position, and you do one round of that, okay? Then we're gonna rest one minute. Then you do the similar kind of movements, but slightly different reps. Instead of starting with push-ups, you start with pistols. This time you do 15 pistols, then you do 12 push-ups, then you do 15 pistols, then you do 12 push-ups, and then you do another nine wall climbs. Bang, that's it, okay? So, review it again quickly. 15 push-ups, 12 pistols, 15 push-ups, 12 pistols, nine wall climbs, right? If you're not doing, okay, then you rest one minute, then we do 15 pistols, 12 push-ups, 15 pistols, 12 push-ups, nine wall climbs. All right, again, do it as fast as you can with good technique, make sure the shoulders stay safe, make sure you're not overarching into each of your back. All right, let's go through each of the progressions quickly for this. So for push-ups, we do a knees to floor. Let's have a quick look, if you've got strict push-ups, you do strict push-ups, chest to floor. All right, if you need to do a progression, knees to floor, make sure the stomach stays tight, you're not arching to the back. Chest to floor, push up, lift the knees. Knees to floor, chest to floor, push up, lift the knees. That's gonna be your push-up progression. If you're not doing uh, push-up, if you can't manage to make 15, but right, instead of trying to go for 15, then just cut your reps down slightly. I don't expect you to do all 15 unbroken. You may be able to do, say, five, Rest, shake it out, do another five, rest, shake it out, do three, rest, shake it out, rest, shake it out, do two. But don't let your rest be so long that your heart rate starts to drop. I want to try and keep your heart rate up as high as you can. All right. So for the push-ups, we're going to pistols. So if you've got pistols, maybe your pistols, what you're looking for is keeping the weight back in your heels. You're going to press back as deep as you can. All right. Get your bum to your heel, press back up. Remember on your pistols, what you're looking for is to make sure this knee stays straight and doesn't press out the side. All right. A uh, scaling option for you is potentially to get a box. Okay, and then to drop that box down as deep as you can, stand, press, touch, touch, press onto the box, press, stand. So this is a nice scaling option. Okay, a chair, you can use a chair, use a slightly lower chair, right, and making sure you're getting as deep as you can. Do alternating left, right, left, right, left, right. So it's not 12 pistols on the left, 12 pistols on the right, it's 12 in total. Left, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is your pistols options. What you can do is either then drop the side, drop the height of the box down, or drop on, drop onto the chair, uh, drop your bum down on the chair, so you're working a slightly deeper position, and you're still working left, right, left, right on your pistols. If you're not doing pistols, you're going to do your air squats. In your air squats, you're pushing back, knees open, back straight, and you're doing 24 air squats. So we are doubling the work, but we're lightening the load because both legs are working. All right, so you're doing push-ups, pistols, push-ups, pistols, and then your wall climb. So your wall climbs. If you've got a wall climb, if you've got good mobility in that overhead position, it should be safe for you. Remember what you're looking for, knees to floor, chest to floor. Okay, you're going to press up, push back through the shoulders first. You get a nice, strong overhead position. For some of you, that may be enough. Okay, and you can hold that. And if you want you, you can do shoulder taps in that overhead position. Right. Alternatively, you're going to come back up, and you're going to hold your half a position. And that may be enough hold. If you're strong enough, just do shoulder taps in this position. You can do that. Otherwise, just hold. Or you're going to walk all the way up, stomach nice and tight, press, head through, touch the wall, keep your tummy tucked in, and then instead of your feet sliding down the wall, okay, keep your stomach tight, and walk your feet back down the wall, just to crawl, stomach tight. That's one, right, and you do nine wall climbs. If you're gonna do a wall hold, what you can do is you can press back to the shoulders, walk your feet up the wall, hold the wall, and we can come back down. All right guys, so that's your progressions for, for the movement. You've got your push-ups progressions, you've got your pistol progressions, you've got your wall climb progressions. Try and get through those movements as fast as possible. Okay, so that's your workout prep. Remember, we're gonna go through the warm-up briefing now if you need a little bit more coaching around the warm-up briefing. Remember to click on our website, costofflet.com, click on the home workout icon, 
We'll take you to the workout. We've got a loaded, an unloaded, and a partially loaded workout. Have a look at the different ones. If you've got some equipment, maybe you can mix it up a bit. Give yourself something to do. But even, even the unloaded option today is going to be pretty brutal. So uh, enjoy the workout. And we'll go through the warm-up coaching now. Okay guys, so the warm-up briefing. So it's pretty essential, the warm-up briefing today, to be able to do these pistols safely and to make sure the shoulders are safe, particularly when you start going to that overhead position. So what you're looking for is you're gonna get warm, spend five minutes running around the garden, chasing the kids, chasing the dog, cycling, skipping. Okay, today's a good uh, skipping warm-up, even a bit of a shuttle run warm-up will get you nice and warm. Then we're going to a long lunge stretch. So a long lunge stretch, you know. We're going to backwards position, drop the hip down towards the floor, Get nice and deep, and backwards and forwards, and backwards and forwards. And then we're going to push his knee, back knee down the floor, knee out the side, 10 times. You're nice and easy. Change legs. Do the same thing on the other side, right, for your long lunge stretch. Then we're going to go into 10 air squats. Air squats, nice and deep. 10 air squats. We're going to do 10 mountain climbers. Okay, so 10 mountain climbers are going to go like this. He comes in and it's gonna fast change. Hold, 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 hold. You do 10 each side, 10 mountain climbers. You do 10 jumping jacks. Jump, 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 10 of those. And you do 10 kicks it. So kicks it, we've done in the past. Sit up position, you're gonna shoot the legs. As the leg shoots, sit up, touch your toes, shoot the legs, sit up. If you're not doing a kick sit, you can do a normal sit up. Or if you need to progress, progression, just touch it's fine. Okay. So that's the warm-up. 10 air squats, 10 mountain climbers, 10 jumping jacks, 10 kicks. I want you to try and move through each of those 10 reps for each movement as fast as you can for three rounds. Gonna jack the heart rate up, get you moving, get the shoulders a little bit warm. <sighs> warm-up. It's really working. Then we do some mobility work. Mobility work. It's part of the pistols, making sure that your shoulders are nice and loose to make sure you're getting that overhead position. So a Cossack stretch or a Cossack squat, feet are going to be nice and wide. And I'm going to get my hands to the floor and I'm pressing my hips backwards into the sides. So for me, I press back through the inside of the hip stretch. One, inside the legs. Three, two, one. Change the other side. Stretch. Three, two, one. As you warm up, you can start going a little bit deeper. Three, two, one. Change to the side. Three, two, one, and give yourself about 10 reps on each side until you start to feel that this is starting to give a little bit more movement. Then we're doing a 30 second quad stretch, holding a wall. Hope you've got decent balance. You're going to hold, keep that stomach tight, knee pulled behind you, holding on the side, hold for 30 seconds. Other side, hold for 30 seconds. Quads going. If you need to feel like you need to hold for a bit longer, you can. And then T spine rotation. So T-spine rotations, we're in a kneeling position. All right, then what you do is you're going to reach this arm through as far as you can. You're going to feel the stretch of the shoulders in between the shoulder blades. And you're going to feel some rotation along the spine. You're going to stretch through, stretch. And you're going to open up towards the ceiling. Oh, one. Stretch through, stretch. Open up, stretch. Two. And you do five on the left, five on the right. That's your T-spine rotation and shoulder roll. Okay guys, so that's your warm-up, that's your mobility. Then we do a bit of wad prep, okay, preparing for the workout. I'm looking for five push-ups, five pistols if you're doing pistols. If you're not doing pistols, just do squats, say about eight squats. And then you do one wall wall climb. And give yourself three rounds. You don't have to rush this. Slow this down a little bit, focus on your push-ups being nice and strict, focus on your stomach being tight, focus on good pistols, make sure that knees staying in line with the toes. On your wall climb, focus on walking your feet up, getting a nice good lockout on the wall climb, walking back down nice and slowly. Okay, really focus on full range of movement and get an overhead position. When you're going to the workout, you've got to make sure that you're not arching to that lower back and that you can keep in good form the whole way through. Okay, so make sure you know what you're feeling or what you're looking for in that what, what prep. If you're ready, set the clock, try and get this done under 10 minutes. Make sure you keep that heart rate up as high as you can, okay? The push-ups and the pistols will get your heart rate going, but the wall climbs is really going to give you a bit of a kick in the heart. So guys, that's Saturday. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you on Monday morning. See ya.